What's a hobby someone can have that is an immediate red flag? My old roommate used to go out driving on rainy days specifically to splash pedestrians. That seems pretty red flaggy to me. Dog fighting. There was a post of a guy that was angry at his mother because her hobby was to find random people on the net, find everything about them and message them about it. Posting everything, every single thing on social media, mouthless face, fog. Making fake animal rescue videos. Abusing animals. Hurting and making fun of homeless people for content. I'm just really into Hitler. I'm just gonna lurk and see if people think my hobbies are red flags. Is lurking a hobby? Am I a red flag? I saw a post yesterday here about a guy that uses real mouse hearts and testicles and places them in a clear resin cast Lego man. I don't know what that is, but red flag. Adopting too many kids animals. Especially when you can't afford them. Gambling. Pageantry. I'm pretty wary of anyone that push other people to turn their hobby into a money-making hustle. Collecting blood slides. My friend had one next to his table next to his AC unit. When I asked him about he gave me this weird smile and claimed it was for work. I never had beers with him since. Guy who spends hours each week on YIG, commenting, liking and DMing random models they never met. Crushing monster energy drinks and punching drywall. Edit the replies have me cackling. No my name is not Kyle. If a person is so preoccupied with their social media that this person hasn't has time to actually live and communicate in the moment. It's fine if you can communicate about it and make arrangements. But I am not dating a person in a three-way relationship with Zuckerberg. I would be totally fine with a person that has to have a heavy social media presence for work. But I would want to be able to set boundaries that work for both on us on it. Family vlogging. Family vlogging completely violate children's privacy. Using kids to shore up your own online presence is not okay. Cutting the eyes out of pictures of women in magazines. Influencing. Back in 1990 we had them. The were called commercials. Then infomercials, then the shit became ridiculous. On a first date, casually talking. Dot and well, you know, I guess there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? 4. What? Dot there's four ways to skin a cat. Someone reading a ton of philosophy can easily be a very good sign, or a massive red flag depending on what specifically they're reading so much of. Well, reading the comments I'm feeling better about my Warhammer collection. Shrines to people lol when I first met my now late significant other my son wanted to be sure he wasn't a killer and protect me. We were literally neighbors so one day we walked to his house and my son said let me see that you don't have pictures up of my mom with exes on them he thought my son meant picture of his exes. Nope. My kid just wanted to be sure there was no shrine to me somewhere with my face crossed out by sharpie markers. Edit wow, almost 7k upvotes. Thanks for making me feel internet famous today on my birthday and for the kind words about my family, heart. Running an MLM or being admin dictator of a local area Facebook group. The spiritual nonsense. Like the really outlandish stuff, like sunning your butthole. Sorry. Hard pass. Making see-through Lego men with mouse organs inside. I have dated two horse girls in my life and both ended up very similar. Nay. As a Magic the Gathering player, Magic the Gathering. Arguing with strangers on the internet, not like usual discussions or anything, just taunting people because you're bored. Speed sewing Moroccan flags. Kids beauty pageants. Reddit mod. Just here to see how people really feel about my hobbies. Apparently pigeon kicking is a thing. Disgusting. Constant selfie posting. Weed alcohol substance as a personality trait. When their only hobby seems to be consuming and repeating hyper-partisan media talking points. Serial killer collections. Forcing their children into pageants, cheerleading, gymnastics. Shit tons of crazies treat this shit like it's their hobby. And it's a massive red flag. Watching gore sending gore vids to their friends. Empty alcohol bottle collecting. Anything that they can't really afford. Making $50,000 but collecting Rolex watches? Red flag. Making $40,000 but always buying haute couture fashion items? Red flag. Making any amount of money and into Warhammer? Red flag. Met an Uber driver that told me he did taxidermy for fun. Well. Not really taxidermy. 
I just kind of pickle animals organ and you wouldn't believe the market for it, I've made $35 this month alone. Never been so creeped out in my life. Spending tons of time on your phone looking people up just to talk shit or find dirt on them so you can rejustify your own self-worth value. Collecting vintage preserved human anatomical specimens. I actually worked with someone who did that. Boy did I wish I'd never accepted the invite to come over and meet him and his boyfriend's babies. What about those sexual anime figurines? I get liking anime, but when your room is full of jail bait anime girls in bathing suits or lewd poses, there's something not so chill going on there lol. If their identity is centered around Disney. Sorry. I said it. Me being glad aquariums, reptiles, and plants aren't listed anywhere, smiley face. Hoa president. Tennis. Love means nothing to them. Serving as president of their Hoa, 